and guns have been hit! Sir, we can't compete with their airships and train like this! Oxens might be powerful, but they're still tanks! We don't have to, just focus on your friends! The others will take care of destroying them! Are they the Empire's new weapons? How can we compete with something so mobile? There's nothing to fear! They may be mobile. But they're a damn sight easier to handle than that purple devil of Crossbells. What the? Ashen Chevalier, the hero of the Imperial Army. The area beyond here is Imperial territory. You have no business treading into Crossfell. That was a warning. Try to advance any farther, and I will show no mercy. Civil War, but seeing you up close, you're really something else! Not at all. I'm still fairly inexperienced, if you ask me. Recover the wounded in any POWs and return to Tangram Gate. Just remain vigilant until the speech is over. Yes, sir! It's now March, 1205 of the Septian Calendar. Over two months have passed since the Azure Tree vanished. So much happened during those months. President Kreuz was arrested, Crossbell's movement for independence was promptly declared invalid. And before anyone could process what was going on, Speaker McDowell became Mayor McDowell. The war in Erebonia came to an end sooner than anyone had anticipated, but it was quickly followed by the invasion of Crossbell. Gorelia Fortress, which once served as the only physical link between the two nations, was no more. But that proved to be a little more than a temporary setback for the Imperial Army, who acted by flying hundreds of tanks over the state from a vast airship. In no time at all, Crossbell was occupied. The Calvert Republic, which had been wrapped up in its own share of chaotic internal disputes, finally reacted to Erebonia's bold invasion in turn. It began with sending its cutting-edge armored airborne divisions into Crossbell, hoping to force the Empire out of the region completely.
but every attempt they made resulted in failure, as they were repelled effortlessly by one soldat after another. And today, at Orcus Tower, the new seat of Crossbell's government, the new rulers of Crossbell rose to deliver a rousing speech. Friends and citizens, it brings me great pleasure to stand here among you once again. But even in the midst of such gladness, the specter of the harm Crossbell has visited upon the Empire lingers still. The destruction of Garelia Fortress and the ensuing civil war it caused has taken a great toll in resources and in lives. The anger Sorrow and dismay in the hearts of the Erebonian people is still fresh, still too near. But today is a joyous day, a day to put the troubles of the past behind us. Let us join hands and step boldly into the future, leaving our anger and grief behind. Challenges will rise before us, But together we shall meet them. Together we can rise above the tumult of these troubled times. Men and women, old and young, rich and poor, those from every walk of life can share in these aspirations. Looking toward that goal, there is someone I'd like to introduce to you today. A brilliant young man who played a pivotal role in bringing Erebonia's civil war to its swift conclusion. And the individual most responsible for the historic accomplishment that sees me standing before you today. The first Governor General of Crossbell, Lord Rufus Alberea. Greetings, friends. It truly lifts my spirits to be here among you. I'm honored to have been entrusted with the profound responsibility of acting as Crossbell's first Governor General. As I'm sure you're all aware, the division between the nobility and the common people is a long-standing part of Erebonian life. Personally, I stand in support of our class system, but I fully expect that one day it will fade away. After all, if each citizen of the Empire conducts themselves with the courage, dignity, and grace expected of a noble, then what difference would remain between myself and any of you? As I hope for that day, allow me to speak not only as your Governor General, but as an individual when I say, in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eugen III, I hereby proclaim the annexation of Crossbell into the Erebonian Empire. May the goddess above stand witness, and may she forever bless Erebonia and Crossbell with the light of prosperity. We've got some real larger-than-life characters in charge of us now.
sure, the Imperial Chancellor's intimidating, but he's so charismatic that the people eat up his every word. They love the guy. <sighs> I can see why he's the bee's knees over in Heimdall. The new Governor General's something else, too, albeit for different reasons. He's... how to put this? Difficult to hate. Like, he'd tell you to do something, and the next thing you know, you'd find yourself doing it just to see him crack a smile. Well, Albere is the name of one of the top noble houses in the Empire. Top two, even. No surprise that the heir of such an affluent family would be popular. But it feels like there's more to him than that. That's what gets me, though. Those two were on completely opposite sides during the war. So, why are they both so buddy-buddy now? Very oddly sudden, in my opinion. You're telling me. By the sounds of things, Erebonians can't make heads or tails of what's going on with it either. But you know how it is. There's so many rumors springing up thanks to the war, it's hard to tell truth from fiction. Yeah, I've even heard about a thousand arch tall castle appearing in the capital. I mean, that's gotta be made up, right? There's no way something like that's real. <sighs> You've got a real short memory if you think that's bull. The Azure Tree wasn't that long ago, you know. Point taken. Yes, this is the office of the Crossbell Times. What? Representative McDowell will be issuing a statement? Huh, sounds like something big's happening behind the scenes already. I'll get to gathering some info on what's happening for our international section. Galvard's probably got some good stuff. Works for me. Gotta use those connections of yours for something, after all. <laughs> well, see you later. Our independence came and went like bubbles on the water, and now we aren't even a state anymore. We're in for some tough times ahead. No. They always say that the pen is mightier than the sword. I won't let those guys outdo me. Chief! Let me handle that story! That's all we of Heiyue can do for you, I'm afraid. The guards have been given a little incentive to stay out of your way. You should face no more obstacles in your operation. Thanks, Sal. Think nothing of it. It's my pleasure to play all the cards I can. The place you're aiming for is where all the information in Crossbell gathers, as well as its Achilles heel. What you're doing does us no shortage of favors, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, just this once, I'm happy to hear that. Hmm. Do take care, Yin. Uh, my apologies, Rishia. I've received information that quite a skilled warrior is in Crossbell at the moment. As have I. Nonetheless, thank you for your warning. Oh, not at all. I wouldn't want anything happening to a valuable future business partner. I believe that does it for me. I'll be praying for your success. <sighs> He's being awfully cooperative, isn't he? Then again, it's not a stretch to think he's only doing it because he's got something up his sleeve. He's an incredibly shrewd man. Most likely, he's happy to do whatever will shine the most favorable light on him once Crossbell's occupation period is over. True enough. He wouldn't want to screw up his chance to potentially play mediator between Crossbell and the Republic. I get the feeling he'd get along great with Lecter. He's our ally for now, but there's no guarantee how long that'll last. Exactly. It's in our best interest to remain wary of him. Still, if working with him helps protect those I care about most, then I'll gladly do so. Likewise.
Tio said to aim for the area up ahead. Crossbell's future rests in our hands, so let's get moving. Right. yourself. You've got my back, Risha. <laughs> bad team, are we? I won't lose. Prepare yourself. more. <sighs> that was some fight. This sector has been abandoned for quite some time. It's not hard to imagine why so many powerful monsters settled in here. What amazes me more is just how much these Arcus Orbments are capable of. Yeah, they'll be a real asset to us in the future. They're so modern, they're practically still in testing over at the Empire. I miss the variety of arts I could use before, but in terms of balance, they're much more suited for combat than our Enigma 2s. Well, Erebonia's always had the upper hand on military technology, if nothing else. We should count ourselves lucky that Michel got his hands on them for us. On that note, we should also count ourselves lucky for being able to utilize them so well. I don't think we've had a single problem linking up. <laughs> I admit, it's a strange feeling. It's as if we knew everything there was to know about one another, through and through. Almost as if our bodies became one. How, um, <clears throat> poetic. <laughs> sort of like how you perform with Elia on stage, right? That's like being one, in a sense. N now that you mention it, you could put it that way, yes. At this point, however, I doubt I would even need one of these to match my movements to hers in battle.
So this is what the Geofront's E sector looks like. This one supposedly had its existence hidden from the general public, didn't it? That's what Ellie said, anyway. It was kept sealed off to keep everything inside strictly confidential. Corrupt officials and Diet members used it to conceal any information they didn't want leaking out. She did add that it wasn't its only use, though. Just one of them. I see. Not the kind of place we can just leave as it is, then. Yeah. We need to make our way through here, whatever it takes. Ready to give it everything we've got? Of course. This will only take a moment. Here it goes! Allow me. An opening! Come with me, boy! Right! Not a cheetah! Prepare yourself. An opening! Gotcha! Right! Now! This is my chance! We can turn this around! Right! This is nothing. Now! Gotcha! Thank you very much. Prepare yourself. Come! The battle's over, but we aren't safe. yourself. Bad team.
got a nice treasure chest. Bring it on! My turn! Prepare yourself. Yeah! Right. Prepare yourself. Now! Gotcha! There! Now! Gotcha! You fiend! Prepare yourself. Now! Come with me, boy! Right! Right! Allow me! Now! Gotcha! There! Now! Gotcha! You fiend! Right! An opening! Gotcha! Right! Prepare yourself! There! Alright! We're safe now! Now! Come with me, boy! All right! <laughs> nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. We're not a bad team, are we? This'll only take a moment. Here goes! Allow me! Now! Gotcha! Prepare! Now! Gotcha! You are finished! Right! Yeah! You're off balance! This is my chance! Nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. <laughs> bad team. Prepare yourself. Huh? Right. Allow me. Huh? Let's keep moving. Oh, found a chest.
<laughs> Commencing subjugate. Prepare yourself. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Boy. All right. Huh? My turn. Huh. There. Let's keep moving. I'm just glad I'm going through first. Hmm? What's wrong? <sighs> I can't tell her it's because of her outfit. Oh, found a chest. Commencing subjugate. Prepare yourself. Huh, an opening. Gotcha. My turn. Right. Huh. My turn. Yeah. Right. Huh. Let's keep moving. So only take them. Allow me. Come now. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm still up for more. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I won't lose. Right. Huh. An opening. Gotcha. Nice knowing you've got my back, Rish. Only take a moment. My turn. Prepare 
yourself. Knowing you've got my back, Risha. Bad team. I won't lose. Allow me. Here goes. I'm still up for more. <laughs> this will only take them prepared. Here goes. Yeah. Right, now! Gotcha! Nice knowing you've got my back to shot. Bring it on! Right! Now. That takes care of them. Hope I didn't end up dragging you down any. <laughs> I can't think of anyone else who could go through the things you did and come out stronger than ever. You should be more confident, Lloyd. There's no way I could have gone through it all alone, though. I've still got a ways to go as a detective, too. And when you think about all the obstacles we've got waiting for us, I'm nowhere near strong enough to handle it all. I wouldn't say that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I've got no confidence in my own abilities. I just think it's important to be able to give an honest assessment of your own strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to pure strength in combat, Randy and Noel clearly come out on top. With processing information, it's Tio, Yona, and Fran. And in terms of negotiation tactics, I can't compare to Ellie or the Chief either. If we don't make good use of our respective strengths, we're not going to be able to get through what's ahead. We might not all be able to stay in the same place anymore, but we still need to be able to work together. Oh, they've started keeping a watch on everyone then? Yeah, I think Randy was the first one. After that, Ellie and Noel started being watched. If it weren't for Tio's help, Kia and I would probably be in trouble too. Hmm, is Kia still with Arios and Shizuku? Yeah. Arios is looking after both of them. They should be okay for the time being. But if the Imperial Army sets their eye on them, things could get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. The reason we're here is to try and avoid coming to that. We best get moving. We've still likely got a ways to go. True. Let's go. Knowing you've got my back, Risha. Bad. Yeah! 
This will only take him right. Huh? Right. Yeah. Now! This is my chance! Uh. Prepare huh? now! Gotcha! You are finished! Nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. <laughs> Bad teeth. Oh, found a chest. Bring it on! Not a chance! There! My turn! Rising sun! All right, we're safe now. Subjugation. Prepare yourself. The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. All right. So far, so good. I suppose... Is something wrong? 
I just have a bad feeling about something. I'm sorry. It's probably just my imagination. So you say, but those bad feelings of yours usually pan out to be accurate. I've had my life saved by them enough times to know that. If it weren't for you, I'd have probably died on one of those landmines, or been hit by that sniper. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about those. I have much less of an idea what the cause of this one could be, though. I only have a general, vague sense that something dangerous is drawing near. Could it be that skilled warrior Sal mentioned earlier? It might be. If all we were dealing with was a skilled warrior, I'm sure I'd be able to take care of them. This, though, whatever it is, it feels far beyond my capabilities. I'm probably not making much sense, am I? No, it's okay. Even the warning alone is appreciated. Rishia knows how to keep her cool in a crisis better than anyone I know. If what we're up against has even her on edge. I need to work on kicking my instincts up a notch or two. At least so they're as good as guys. Well, according to the data Tio gave us, we should be over halfway through by now. Let's just stay alert. If we don't know what we're up against, all we can do is try and be prepared for anything. Agreed. Elevator. Our destination must be down below. Yeah. Let's try and unlock it. Back, We're not a bad team, are we? Careful! Yeah. This one's tough. My turn. Out just yet. Yeah. I won't look to. I'm sorry. Prepare yourself. Activate. Thanks. Right. I won't lose. up for more.
This is almost uncomfortably narrow. This will only take them. Prepare yourself. Here goes. Allow me. There. Prepare yourself. Come. Let's keep moving. Up to shit. The advantage is off. Allow me. My turn! Take this! Prepare yourself! Come! Let's keep moving! Bring it on! Prepare yourself! Right! Prepare yourself! My turn! Right. Allow. Here goes. Allow me. My turn. I'm still up for more. Allow me. What a nice treasure chest. That's the first lock done. Careful. That one looks tough. Bring it on. Right. Right. Allow. Here goes. Right. Right. My turn. Prepare. We're running into folks at every prepare yourself. Arcus, activate! Huh? We can turn this around! Huh? Prepare yourself! Here goes! Activate! Yeah. Allow me! Huh? The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet.
Here goes! Hey! I won't lose! Here goes! <sighs> Take this! Prepare yourself! Let's keep moving. Oh, found a chest. Take a right. Come. Ah! Here goes. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Huh. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're off balance. This is my chance. Right. Huh? Let's keep moving. Hey? Commencing subjugate. Prepare yourself. Come. Ah! My turn. <sighs> Take this. There. Let's keep moving. Treasure chest. Commencing subjugation. Right. You're finished now. Rising sun. Behold my dance. Sleep. Rise. Right. There. Now. Come with me, boy. All right. Nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. Bad team, are we? I won't lose. Right. Come. Ah! Here goes. I'm still up for more. <laughs> huh. All right. Allow We're in a good him. place. My turn. Yeah. Now. This is my chance. Nice knowing you've got my back. <laughs> yourself. Huh. 
Oh, found a chest. That's two locks done. Let's head back to the elevator. Lloyd, I think we're here. Yeah, we finally reached the end. This facility would be the center of Crossbow's orbital network, yes? In a way, the overall structure is far too complex for this to unambiguously be its center, but it's a good chunk. Either way, if the Imperial Army took it over, they'd have instant access to all info related to us on the net. Every Crossbell citizen's personal data, records on our financial transactions, even the layout of the whole Geofront. If we want to have any hope of a future, we can't allow that to happen. I agree. Why not just destroy the facility itself, though? We could, I guess. But from what I can gather, it could still prove useful to us once the net's safely back in our hands. So the plan is to leave the hardware itself intact, but wipe any and all personal data the army could take advantage of. And that's where that initialization unit Teal made comes in, right? Right. Roberts and Yona were the ones who actually designed it, though. They wrote the program for it from scratch, too. And that makes things easy on our end. Once we boot up the computer, it'll create a backup of everything we need before wiping it clean. Initialization unit activated. Confirming connection to Terminal Zero. The unit will commence backing up all data, initializing the system followed by performing a reboot operation. Are you certain you wish to continue? If so... Right. Commencing all required processes. <sighs> Nicely done, Lloyd. It's not like I did anything special. It's funny. Ordinarily, this kind of work would take hours. But this unit will let us get in and out in ten minutes flat. Those two never cease to amaze, do they? Roberts and Yona? They certainly are impressive. In the meantime, let's secure the area- Stop where you are. <sighs> I didn't sense anyone coming. Targets confirmed. I presume these must be Lloyd Bannings and Rishia Mao, respectively. Huh? 
How do they know our names? Hold on. Isn't that Itachi? Like the one Arios uses. I'm nowhere near as proficient with one as he is, though. But we should be able to handle the two of you, at least. Clown Soleus. The hell? A black puppet? Sorry, but we've got our orders. We can't let you finish what you came here for. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't let you stop us either. We won't let you past. Confirming activation of combat link. It looks like more Argus units ended up leaking out than I thought. We should form one too then. Understood. There shouldn't be any need to neutralize them. Our goal is to buy enough time for the initialization process to finish running. Let's do this, Risha! Right! And we can't afford to give them that time, Altina. Understood. Commencing assault. I require your support, Rain. Right. Let's get this over with. Eh. Right. Prepare yourself. Here goes! Arcus, activate! Yeah. Thank you very much! Ha! There! Activating a 
Extermination Lab. Transform! Extermination! Commence! This is nothing. Here goes. Prepare yourself. Activate. Watch this. Yeah. Allow me. My turn. Not a chance. Got you. Right. An opening. Gotcha. Be on fire. Don't count me out just yet. Right. Moving. I'm surprised. I knew full well Risha would pose a threat, but I wasn't expecting half as much from a simple detective. You could say it runs in the family. I'm just as impressed by how proficient you are with that blade, given your age. I've still got a long way to go, honestly. I won't be worthy of being called a divine blade anytime soon. Reen, time is running short. I think it's time you stopped holding back. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? Be careful! What's he doing? Such negative energy. Initialization process completed. Rebooting all systems in an initialized state. We did it! <sighs> what a relief. What should we do? Captain Lecter gave us two orders. One was to prevent the initialization. The other was only to be completed in the event we couldn't. We'll just do that one. Captain Lecter? It couldn't be the same Lecter from the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division, right? Heed my call! Bellamar, the Ashen Knight! Holy... An Ion? No, it isn't! Wait, no! <coughs> Lloyd! If we can at least get the data out of here. We'll split our losses this time. Arrest warrants haven't been issued for either of you yet. So go. Damn it. Just tell me one thing, as I'm sure you already know. My name is Lloyd Bannings, 
and I'm a police detective with the Crossbell State Police Department. What's your name? I'm with Thor's Military Academy, Class Sin. No. I'm a provisional military officer with the Crossbell government, Reen Schwarzer. Yes, this is Schwarzer speaking. Hey, good job on the mission. Nothing good about it, I'm afraid. I couldn't prevent them from erasing all the data. Eh, it's not the end of the world. They've still got plenty of other options. They're not the type to give up easily, but it'll set them back in the meantime. Is that so, Captain? You must know them fairly well. I guess you could say that. They're no pushovers. They've had the odds stacked against them in more ways than I can count. But they've come out the other side every time. I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything. I had a feeling something was going to happen. But I was powerless when it really did. Don't feel bad. There was no way we could have seen that coming. Especially that night. It was kind of like an ion, but at the same time it wasn't. Or like the Archaisms for that matter. He called it the Ashen Knight, didn't he? He did. Its power was out of this world. Do you think that was one of the Imperial Army's new weapons, too? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, it shares some similarities with their soldats. But I don't know. Feels like there's more to it than that. And its pilot was anything but normal. Let's put it out of our minds for now. We stopped that data from falling into the Army's hands. It wasn't our smoothest operation. I'd still call it a success. I'm sure Tio, Yona, and Roberts can make do even without those terminals. We can always count on Ellie, Randy, Noel, the Chief, and Dudley too. Even Kia, Ario, Swazi, and Zite will help us. There are still many barriers left between us and our goals. But we can get over them. So long as we're together! Right. You're heading back then? That's the plan. I've played my part. I'll return with Valimar and the train this afternoon. Well, if that's what you want to do. I was just wondering if you wanted to go back on the Eisengraft together instead. You two haven't spoken since, right? Excuse me. This is where we part ways, then. I look forward to any collaborative efforts we may have in the future. Yeah. Oh, right. Do you have anything you want me to pass on to Milliam? Not especially. We may technically be sisters, but I am simply a tool. I feel no particular familial bond with her. I imagine that deep down, she feels the same way. Yeah, but no. Forget it. Take care, okay? I don't doubt you're going to be sent on plenty of dangerous missions in the days to come. Uh, understood? Is something wrong? Not really. I'm just kind of jealous of them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>